Hi everyone. So today's look is Charlie Theron from the Astronauts. I wife. hope that you enjoy this look. Um, like I say in the tutorial, a lot of people are requesting looks for the summertime because it's so hot outside and I feel like the really dramatic ones are kind of melting off of everybody. As far as I know that I've talked to everybody, it's hot everywhere, even in areas where it's usually colder. So it's just, um, it's just extremely hot and when it is, you don't really want to wear a ton of makeup. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to take advantage of that since this would be the time when people would want new deal. And hopefully it cools down. I did the 100% pure organic coffee bean caffeine eye cream. This stuff is even better when it's hot outside because um, I just don't know how you could live without this stuff. Um, then I took the All Natural Face Magic Vegan Eyeshadow Primer. I'm going to start off with Skimp, which is a light peachy color all the way down here. And... If you don't have Skimp, it's actually really, it's really nice eyeshadow. I really like it because um, it just gives you a little hint of shimmer and sparkle on the lid. I'm going to pop this on with a Samantha Chapman brush. This is from Real Techniques. It is a deluxe crease brush. It almost works like a concealer brush. I think I watched a few um, Pixie Woo videos the other day. Um, I've always, since I found Pixie Woo, I've always enjoyed watching Nick and Sam, but um, I just love to see how they use these brushes actually. Okay, so I'm going to be taking a blend of Sin and Busted. And this is not Charlize Theron's usual look, once again. It's a character role. You guys are getting very creative on those, on those uh, celeb requests because uh, I don't think I've ever really been asked for character roles before, which is kind of fun. I'm going to go in and take a very fine line of that. You could take a pencil, but looking at her eyeliner, it looks a little bit more crisp than a pencil. For the waterline and lower lash line, I took Matt Camille from Anastasia Beverly Stoke. Hills. Um, busted and sin again on the lower lash line keeping the entire eye like all together with the color. lower lash line it's naked she doesn't have any lash um, highlighting or mascara or anything and like keeping that. my eye open normally I just shut my eye so I can get the bottom lash and the and the, um, the upper lash together astronauts wife's skin um, it's very glowy and very wet in most of the scenes. So I am going to try out my Too Faced Tinted I Beauty Balm. The way this looks right now because um, I feel this is just like the right shade. It's actually quite of a deep tan color. Reviewers said that this particular foundation was shimmery. Maybe they meant to use the word glowing because it's definitely super glowy. Cosmetics um, and the Eco Tools stipple brush. I mean, she looks gorgeous, uh, wet. Well, Charlotte Theron looks gorgeous anyways. But I can't walk around with wet skin all day. It's glowy without feeling wet, in my opinion. With this particular setting powder, that really works. In the Tara Moisturizing Bronzer. This is good for light skin tones. It's very uh, lightweight and buildable and kind of moisturizing. She also has Oak Bark Bronzing Powder, which that one actually is really nice. It's just, um, and I would recommend it. Um, I've worked with it, but it's not good for my skin tone. It's definitely beautiful um, on a much lighter, lighter skin tone. Um, I know the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced is way too dark for people if you want to stick with main care brands. They also now make milk chocolate bronzer. And I'm going to be taking Blissful from Tarte because this to me is just, you know, it's just kind of right on for her character. She's wearing most of this like in the front part of her face. On the front. Just blot down a little conditioner. You can always add it after you apply lip liner. I'm just going to take the Inglot number 67. Soft precision lip liner. That is definitely Climax. This is definitely much more warmer than even Urban Decay's Naked, which used to be my go-to in terms of my naked yeah. color. Just to kind of accentuate the warmth and the fullness of her pout. I'm going to take Sleek Lipstick. This is a sheen in Barely the Hair. Mine's all like melted and 
because it's such a soft lipstick and it's really hot. wearing a gloss so I just thought it'd be easier to take two glossy lipsticks and it'll also stay a little longer. Um, I plan on reviewing the Too Faced Beauty Balm real shortly. I'm um, just gonna let my skin give it a give it a whirl for a little bit and um, I've been using these a lot so I plan on reviewing these too. So things to look forward to. And those products were purchased by me. I'll talk to you guys later, and thanks so much for watching.